Krishna. Hare Krishna. Take you, Eric. Take you, Eric. To be my wedding husband. To be my husband. Before, God, Before God. Who brought us together. Who brought us together. To, love you, to love you. To cherish you. To cherish you and to submit, and to submit myself to you in all things. And to follow you through all of life's experiences as you follow God. To you, Eric, God is a day man as the spiritual head and as the responsible provider and as the initiator of love in this human relationship. And by his divine enablement, your strength must be to protect your wife. Make sure that protection is offered, your character, your boast and pride, and you must live in such a way that she'll find in you a haven in which the heart of a woman truly longs. And to you, the wonderful bride on this day, beautiful as you are. Risha, it is God's purpose that you be a loving wife and that you respond to your husband's love and tenderness and with a deep sense of understanding through a great faith in Christ who brought you together. It is his desire that you have that inner beauty of your soul that never fades, that eternal youth that is found in holding fast the things that never age, and to both of you. Christian marriage is not just merely uh, living for each other. It is two persons uniting and joining hands to serve God. Seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, and he'll add all other things to you. Look at that baby girl. I'll talk to you later. Today, friends, we have been invited here to be with Eric and Rabrisha and very most important time in their life. A time that, that they uh, asked us to come and share in, a time to share, show their love and their understanding for each other and how they've grown. Father, we love you and we thank you. We consecrate these rings now. We dedicate them back to you. And God, we thank you so much. We pray for an eternal, holy conviction. God, that they will never, they'll never falter on these vows. But they'll honor you. And that God. Thank you so much. Now, I want you to put the ring on the start of a ring finger, on the start of it. When I say that, just in this area. Do you vow here, as you've promised here, that you will be true and loyal and patient in sickness, comforting her in sorrow, forsaking all others, 
Keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live. If so, please respond by saying, I do. Y'all get in there and don't let people's opinion tell your marriage up. Y'all get in there and don't let your flesh mess your marriage up. Y'all get in there and don't let laziness mess your marriage up. Don't get in there and let the lack of money or too much money mess your marriage up. Don't let keeping up with the Jones or the Johnsons. Don't let none of that. When y'all come back behind that door seat, y'all come back through that threshold. It's just the two of you. Block the world out and straighten it out. Man. Start on his finger as well, and you repeat these vows after me as well. All right. Personal time of companionship with God. 